Hello there. Welcome. And thank you for coming. My name is Gus Ferendorf, and I'm running for Congress in Wisconsin, District Number 6. So, come November, I will be asking for your vote. However, between now and then, I thought I should share with you exactly why I am the best candidate for the job. So we put together the little video series all about the corruption in Washington, D.C. We're going to show exactly how the Republicans and the Democrats work together to stop things from happening, and exactly why 87% of us aren't really that thrilled with the government at all right now, okay? So we're going to see a lot of corruption. You're going to see how money comes in, how money flows, and where the money goes. Okay, hang on, because this is going to be good. Thank you very much, and let's go. All right, hey, thanks for joining us. Again, if you're just joining us, my name is Gus Ferendorf, running for Congress, District 6, Wisconsin. All right, so we're talking about the PACs, okay? So, sure, we've all heard of them, but what are they? A PAC is an acronym for Political Action Committee. All right, when we get right down to it, is it a, it's a way to move money around tax-free. Basically, to do things that would normally put you and I right into prison. This is a way to ensure our duocracy of the American government, our two-party system. All right? And that is bad. We'll get to that later. The PAC is a type of organization that pools campaign contributions from members, donors, um, and donate those campaign funds to campaigns for or campaigns against candidates, ballot initiatives, legislation, and even lack thereof legislation, which we'll get to. At the federal level, which is what I'm referring to, I quote, an organization becomes a PAC when it receives or spends more than $1,000 for the purpose of influencing a federal election, unquote. That quote was taken from the Federal Election Commission, April 2008, page 1, subsection 431. And of course, there are many types of PACs. There's a campaign PAC, a labor PAC, a union PAC, a local growers PAC. The list goes on and on. On and on. However, what we want to deal with is the leadership pack, as it has the most interesting, interesting rules and regulations. And if uh, imagine you might want to, you know, a synonym for a pack. Uh, how about the words bank account? Okay. Not only that, but the real cool kind of bank account. This is the kind of bank account where one person fills it, and the other person drains it. Drains it. Kind of cool, like a Paris Hilton bank account, I would imagine. Although, not exactly. I don't know. Why don't you look into that and get back to me? <laughs> anyway, so how does it get filled? Well, I'm glad you asked. The way these get filled is an art. This time, we're not going to be speaking about the donations. This is not getting filled from donations from good citizens like you and I. This art is in the form of legislation. Okay, Politicians can write laws, and then, of course, politicians can not write laws. Politicians can bring the same new bills to the floor on multiple occasions. This is an action commonly, commonly referred to as the squeeze play. Let us take a look at the Internet Sales Tax Bill. All right, This is a bill that gives the state government the ability to tax the sale no matter where the seller's or the buyer's location. So when you're online and you're shopping from your hometown, let's just say Oshkosh, Sheboygan, Beaver Dam, Manitowoc, or Nina, and the person selling that item, you know, you're looking on eBay and they you know, live in Sunnybrook, California, let's say. So there's no local representation for that seller. But the government still wants to take its cut. It wants to take its cut in the form of sales tax, right? So let's go through examples of this, and you can see how far-reaching this may be someday. Let's uh, use two examples from eBay, all right? Um, so the first product we'll use is an antique. So obviously this is a previously owned item. But the government still wants to take its cut. Is this fair to tax the same product again and again just because it changes hands? Mind you, this is a private sale from person to person. This is not a place of business. 
right? Okay, another example. Let's say you want to buy something right from China. So you pay the seller, you pay the shipper, and now you have to pay the government too? Just because you wanted a pair of sunglasses? Reminder, these are coming directly from China, legally. So the importation tax has already been paid. Got it? Tax, 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 tax. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how the government shakes down the businesses. You think the tax is good? Wait till you hear this. So this is the status quo. As you know, the Republicans are going to say, no tax. And the Democrats are going to say, We need the tax. So the politicians get the bill, okay? And as they write the bill, the internet tax bill, and while the bill is in rough draft, guess what? Yep, you guessed it. The bill leaks out into the general public. And so all the large online retailers and resellers find it, of course. And then soon the phone at the political action committee starts ringing off the hook. The large online sellers and retailers are looking for where to send their donations so they can encourage the discontinuing of the internet sales tax bill. Insane, huh? In its most simplistic form, as soon as enough money flows into the pack, the bill is then tabled and put aside until enough time has gone by, and they choose to do the same thing again. Meaning, we have not heard the last of this internet tax thing now, have we? Guaranteed, we have not. Extortion is the name of the game. And you will come to understand there is no money in getting things done. The money is in prolonging the legislation. Realizing that if you want to milk the cow again, leave it be and come back another day. Rinse and repeat. Get it? It's crazy. I know. Thank you. We'll be right back with Gridlock. Just say it. <laughs> Government's in. In Gridlock. Well, there you go. Gus Farendorf to help America get back to her beautiful glory. It's exactly like what Gus said. America became great not because of what government did, but because of what government was prevented from doing. Yes, vote for Gus.